we're doing kind of a partial celebration for one week of school. Partially, it's just so hot and humid. Hey friends, we just got back from walking at the mall because it is so hot. Oh, do you want to show them what you got? I got hearing you. What'd you get? A new mom, a cam clock. Let's show them without it's your like head. A zombie. It's named like zombie. Oh, he's oh, but he's pretty gnarly looking. But I'm dying to know get white. Like, oh, gum get. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go mark the game clock, come with the quail people, well, get carrying go and shy up the good is That's the new thing, they're doing that. I think it's just because people like the drivers too. In Monster Jam, people like the drivers just as much as the trucks. There's some Legos on the floor, babe. Anyway, we have a very light school day for both the boys, so we went and did an indoor walk. It was nice very few kids because public schools are back in session jack's made sebastian a little color by number but i'm hungry i just had cereal this morning so i'm going to fix some lunch for me looks like we only have 29 days until we go to the beach but yeah i let the kids split a 10 dollar bill at GameStop and choose something sebastian chose that monster truck and excuse the air conditioner so hot out. Jack's got this t-shirt, which is a little bit long because it's an adult. It was on sale for $5, but looks like it's been reduced a number of times. He's going to be able to wear that for at least a couple years. No, you were just out barking and being a jerk, not letting you back out. Yeah, I figured you needed to go poop. You said your tummy hurt. But we are just going to to our school. I think Jack's already did language arts. He's got mostly social studies and the math worksheet. Sebastian's has a couple worksheets to finish up. Here's that hat that I did on the knitting loom. It's got a double-sided brim because you knit and then you fold it over and then you start knitting normal. Then you kind of draw it like a drawstring and tie it off. So. I think Jax is going to get this one because it is thicker than what they want for donating and the knitting looms that I ordered at like 3 or 4 p.m. yesterday are coming today which is crazy. We just live in a place with a lot of warehouses. Also the yarn that I ordered from the craft store, I wanted to do it as free shipping so like pick it up in the store but they just recently closed all of our Joann's stores 
and why am I holding this? I need to put it away, but it's over by the air conditioner, so I'm just gonna toss it here for now. Yeah, they closed both of our nearest Joann's and then opened a new one just within the last like week or two, and they still don't do, do pick up in the store, order online. There's a bummer because shipping is $8, but I'm pretty much getting it in two days. I ordered it, it said it was shipped the very next day and that it's gonna be here the day after that. So, didn't really need the yarn that fast. I ordered it in advance thinking that's gonna be my project for the beach, but it is gonna be a full length long sleeve sweater in size five, six. So that is a lot of knitting. So I could probably start it ahead of time. Currently I'm working on a sweater for Jax that it's very bulky because it's my size. I think I have some of it down here. I've had a break from it for a little while because it's just really difficult. A lot of color work. The entire sweater has designs on it. So it's a lot of focusing and watching and counting and reading the pattern where the one I'm doing for myself just had it at the top. I am on the sleeves now. And the one I'm gonna do for Sebastian it's just gonna be stripes, I think. He wanted orange and blue stripes and it's also gonna have some gray. So, I'm just babbling, yeah. So I've got yarn coming today. I should put a bottle out because it's coming FedEx and he always grabs the drink. Amazon is hit or miss. Do I have Amazon coming? Yeah, Amazon is the knitting loom so that I can do some donations my old yarn. Yeah, I'm gonna make some lunch and put that frozen water bottle out and I will see you later. I probably won't talk to you before quiet time. We're just gonna do some school and stuff and then some quiet time. started this a second time because I feel like my phone's being weird and taking a few seconds to start. Can you please get changed? We are starting bedtime a little late because Sebastian and his daddy were playing Mario Kart but now Jax is playing Halo with him so it's going to be just us up here getting ready. Kind of a quiet day. We got up, did breakfast and we went to the mall 
we were doing kind of a partial celebration for one week of school. Partially, it's just so hot and humid and we wanted to walk. So I did get them a smoothie to split because on Fridays the smoothie shop has a $5 large and they split it into a medium and a small. Then we did our walk and one store we stopped into was GameStop and I let them split a $10 bill as I said. And, and yeah, I, but you've already showed them your monster jug. Jack yeah. got a t-shirt off of the clearance. So we came home and had lunch, did a little bit of school, but it was a very light day. Jack's had a makeup quiz and a few assignments and a math worksheet. But, but, Sebastian had a few worksheets. But I, I didn't have a crack again, so, so Jack can make me a crack. Yeah, I hadn't planned on any long lessons or crafts or activities like that, so hiccup, sorry. Jack's made him a color by number. I feel like another hiccup's coming. So yeah, pretty light. And then we did quiet time. Then Sebastian wanted to go out to dinners and he really wanted steak. No, I think it's gone already. Sometimes I don't get all the hiccups, I just get a couple. Please don't mess up the bed, I just fixed it. He's been a nut job the whole quiet time. He was kicking and kicking, so he's been kind of tired and out of it. But we went and got them steak. I had a baked potato and asparagus, which was delicious. Obviously not a big protein night for me, but I assured them I did not mind. I kind of, please, I need to fix the bed again. I assured them I didn't mind because I had stomach ache today. Just, just my normal stuff. Oh my goodness, just tell them. I got my own steak. Yes, I said you had steak. I said, can you tell my patience is this thin? Can you please just go do something for a minute? It starts to make me cranky when somebody's following me like within a half a step and butting into the conversation without saying excuse me. You think of anything you want to tell them and I'll come to you when I'm all done and you're going to talk to them, okay? Sorry, I'm only human, I do get annoyed. But yeah, nothing really exciting to show you on the homeschool front. And yeah, I don't even know what video I have, but that was our day. I just put my hair up because my ponytail was looking a little jeepified, even though he still hasn't gotten the roof back off and the, I don't know, the doors that are made out of pipes put back on. We did have the windows open and the, the panel on the top open so it was quite windy and I had a ponytail but yeah that's what we got I believe my husband is out tomorrow afternoon he has his friend group and they have a couple bands I think and he's going to do sound at one of the events so he gets to enjoy it and be off in the corner not deal with any of the crowds he does see his friends, which makes me nervous because you can pass COVID around if you're vaccinated. That's welcome to Delta. I have a number of friends who are COVID positive now, despite being fully vaccinated. But let's see, is there any news? So our school system, they're on day two. They just finished day two. And prior to opening, they said they require everybody to have a mask on. That's good. But today they announced they are now going to require all the staff to be fully vaccinated or get tested weekly. And that our local elementary school now has an entire class of second graders quarantining for two weeks because their teacher tested positive for COVID. Lovely and cements in place my our decision to homeschool this year. So there's that, but I'm just gonna keep it short and sweet because it's just us. I'm gonna be in charge of reading tonight and doing other things. So I'm gonna say good night to you and welcome if you're new here. My name is Stephanie and you'll just see my boring daily life and our homeschooling adventures. I found it, God. Was it in the basket? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> is there anything else you wanted to tell them before I say good night? You buy Hank in the school card. Let me go to the lights so we can see what's inside of it. So, 
dinosaur bones. Yeah. Did we get that from the thrift store? Yeah. Yeah, cool. All right, yeah. So I hope you see to see you back again tomorrow. I'm gonna try and answer some comments tonight. So yeah, welcome. Stay safe, be kind, and don't forget, wash your hands.